guys welcome back to my youtube channel mallu abroad how are you all guys doing i hope you are all doing great i am starting a new travel series in my youtube channel and i have already put the trailer on my channel so if anyone has not yet watched that trailer please do watch it and uh, i will put the link in the description box below so today we are heading towards one of the most popular tourist attractions in this part of Ireland that is the Three Castle Head. The Three Castle Head includes the ruins of Dunlow Castle and it's only accessible by foot. The route to the Dunlow Castle is straightforward enough and there is some signage pointing you in the right direction as well. Heading towards the farmhouse at the start of the walk, you will see a trail across the field about halfway. This takes you to a gate and once you are through that, just keep heading uphill and you can't really go wrong. The views to the Atlantic and the coastline from this part of the trail are pretty stunning too. However, they are nothing like what's to come. From the car parking area to the first breathtaking glimpse of Dunlow Castle took me about 25 minutes so it's a pretty short hike. It's easy going all the way with just a very short bit of the climb uphill towards the end. At the top of the hill, those first views of the lake and the castle are the ones that you are unlikely to forget in a hurry. The Dunlow Castle may be called Three Castle Head, but there is just only one castle. The name Three Castle refers to the three towers that make up the Dunlow Castle. Connecting the towers is a curtain wall stretching more than 100 feet from the cliffs to the shores of the lake. The wall and towers are mainly in this ruins now but remain very impressive all the same. Dunlow is said to be one of the oldest Norman castles in Southern Ireland. The ruins which remain there now is dated from around 15th century. The deterioration of the castle can also be partly attributed to its dry stone construction. There are some pretty dark tales associated with Dunlow and Three Castle Head. It is said that the Ordonnais, who were the last family to live there, all died by suicide or murder. Now, as a result of the drop of blood falls from one of the towers every day. Others claim that a mysterious white lady haunts the lake. Anyone who sees her will die soon after. So, if you are very superstitious, you might want to think twice before you pay a visit here. It should also be noted that this is a private land and also a working sheep farm. And so dogs are not allowed on the trail even with a lease. There is also a donation box near the start of this trail. So bring some coins if you want to donate something. Did you guys enjoy this video? I hope you liked my video. If you did, please consider subscribing my YouTube channel and also like and share my videos to your loved ones. So if you have any thoughts or suggestions, you can always put it down on the comment box below. So we'll meet up in the next video. Until then, it's bye from Shri.